Welcome to another episode of High Events. Today we are in Colombo for Aria Spring Summer Collection 2023 launch by India Pabevardhan. As you can see, it's a wonderful night, so glamorous. Stay tuned to find out what's in store for you. With me, Ajay, who needs no introduction. Ajay, straight after the Colombo Fashion Week, Indis having her launch. What do you think about it? That's excellent. You know, I mean, it's so encouraging to see designers who are doing their solo shows. You know, that means they've gone to the next level. So it's, I'm, I'm really proud of how she's done it. Uh, how do you think the night is going? It hasn't started yet, but what do you think about it? Well, anticipating a big one. Hmm? So it's, I mean, it's got all the signs. What do you, what do you want to say for the upcoming designers in the future? Well, you know, it's so important because, you know, I remember Indy's journey. Indy came to my office in 2011 with, with, with uh, sketches. That was, I think she hadn't shown even, uh, that was probably the first year that she showed. And, uh, and from there, she's just, you know, gone from strength to strength. And uh, we celebrated her 10 years, I think, uh, two years ago. We did 10 years at uh, Fashion Week with her. So, so it's, it's, this should be an inspiration for all the young designers to follow a similar path. That, you know, when, when the foundations are there, build up. You know, don't look for greener pastures out of the country, it's right around you. So we should not be part of brain drain. You should reverse the brain drain, build your careers here, there's enough here. So with me I have gorgeous Chanel. Chanel, are you having a good time? Yes, I'm having a great night, so honoured to be invited to this event today. And uh, the fact that Indy's launching a brand new line, what do you think about it? I think it's great, I can't wait to see the collection. I've always loved her outfits and everything, yeah. What, what makes you think that Indy stands out out of all the designers around here? I think her clothes are very detailed. I really like the, I, I like her vibe. Yeah, the vibe right. her clothes give. So I have Gayandil looking very vibrant. What do you think about tonight? Well, I'm very excited to see Indy showing and uh, with the title and an introduction into Sri Lankan folklore, you had me hooked, right? She's always a mainstay at Colombo Fashion Week and I'm very, very excited to see how she celebrates with this collection. What do you think about the fact that she's doing her own show by herself? Um, I think she's looking for bigger and better things and uh, let's, uh, let's see what she has to offer today. Well, sounds great. I'll let you enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you so much.
here with me, I have gorgeous Charini. Charini, being a designer yourself, what do you think about the fact that Indy is launching another line from herself? I think it's amazing. I, be, I know Indy for such a long time and I've seen how she grew to be this awesome person with a good brand happening for her and such a wonderful personality. So, and I should actually add, not only the launch, it's amazing that she actually pulled this show together and it's not easy for a designer to do their solo show. So, uh, great job, Bindi, like fantastic. So with me, I have Rafaela. I love what you're wearing. Are you having a good time? Yes, very, very good time. And I'm meeting so many of my friends, so meeting them after a very long time. So, it's good. What do you think about the fact that Indy is launching her own line and in her own show? I think she has always been someone who does something different in a very different and a new way. So I've always loved her work so much and really looking forward for the show. And I'm sure it's going to be like a fabulous, fantastic show as always. Well, being a photographer, are you planning to use this collection for a photo shoot maybe in the future? Of course, I would love to uh, work with Indy and uh, she's amazing and it, it'll be like a killer combination, of course. So with me, I have gorgeous Dr. Shanika and Nihan. Dr. Shanika, you're sponsoring this event. What made you support this event? Well, Indy is a self-made businesswoman. She's made a name for herself in the fashion industry in Sri Lanka through hard work and dedication, which are the qualities that I stand for. So when she reached out, it was a no-brainer. Yeah. Well, sounds great. Nihan, what do you think about the fact that, you know, a designer is pulling her own show? What do you think about that? I think impressive. We have to give Windy credit. She's a superstar in the industry, has done well. Uh, and we are proud to be a sponsor because she's like one of us, you know. Well, I see. And are you excited to see the collection? Of course, of course. And wait for the last segment. Well, sounds great. Thank you for speaking. Buy too much. <laughs> Hopefully, you won't. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you. Thank you. having a wonderful time. Natalie, what do you think about tonight? Oh, it was really amazing. Anyways, Indy's work is fabulous. She'd done my bridal. She had done so many you know, outfits for me and it's just fabulous. Seeing it on the runway also, it's just really, really nice. <laughs> and Maurice, what do you think about the fact that Indy pulled her own show to launch a you know, new line? The, the designs were absolutely stunning. And I mean, I want to go get one of those dresses. They were so Stunning, and uh, unfortunately, I'm not as slim as those girls are. But I'm gonna definitely gonna try and get. Yeah, I'm gonna try it out. But I think Indy, you know, provides clothing for anyone with any shape. Yes, she does. Because even I mean, at the time I got married, I've, I'm super curvy. I've always been that way. Skinny, but still like curvy. So she knows how to exactly how to do it so that you hold everything in the right place keep it um, you know where it needs to be <laughs> well, sounds great thank you for speaking to us have a wonderful time so with me I have Sham Khan who was the choreographer of this event how do you feel now it's everything is a success and you're getting wonderful feedback yeah actually uh, it's my pleasure to come for the first time to Sri Lanka and uh, like the hospitality the culture everything like it's marvelous I don't have any words to express more it's fantastic 
So what do you feel? I mean, after seeing a local designer's collection, what do you feel? The collection is very different. As like, I'm from India, but the collection they put here, it's like uh, full of colors. So first, we started with the light and uh, we exploded it with the colors. <laughs> So with me, I have Samani, who's a designer herself. What do you think about Indy's new collection? Um, I loved it, like very diverse and like, you know, very colorful. Like uh, it shows the ethnicity and like everything. Like I loved it, like because uh, she has experimented a lot with the cuts and uh, textures, especially. So I'm a huge fan of colors and textures. So like. It's all about that, so um, I wish her all the very best and very well done with the show, so yeah. It's wonderful to hear a designer supporting another designer. What do you think about the fact that she pulled her own show? Yeah, it's amazing, like very courageous, like I would say, like it's a very difficult to do uh, thing to do, like, you know, especially uh, given uh, how the times are. So, um, uh, superb, like, you know, thumbs up to you and like, it's really nice, very well done. Shanga, Shanga, you look wonderful tonight. What do you think about the night? Oh, it's beautiful, amazing. I'm so proud of her. And yeah, it's beautiful, no words. And what do you think about the collection? It's amazing. It was, uh, I loved it. Like, anyway, I'm a big fan of Indy, so all her outfits were just on point. And do you see yourself purchasing all her stuff? Yes, definitely. I'm a, as you know, like I'm such a big fan of indie stuff, so definitely all the skirts maybe. <laughs> Congratulations on this wonderful show that you just pulled off. Could you tell me how, what you're feeling? Are you excited? I am uh, like thrilled right now uh, and also relieved. It's over. <laughs> but what is the feedback that you're getting out of everyone? Uh, everyone loved it. That's what they say. Uh, more than anything, like we all enjoyed with my staff, everybody being here. Like everyone came on board to help. Like there was a freelancers of a makeup team of uh, freelancers and uh, Capilla Salons, Brian's uh, girls, um, and everyone was so amazing, so, so glad. Could you tell me a bit about the journey for this final day for this wonderful fashion show? 
Uh, so this has been a dream. So finally it came true today. Yeah, so it's a lot of hard work. Been waiting for this for a, quite some time because of the whole, you know, what we've all been through. Uh, a couple of years it's been in um, hold, uh, but now um, finally we had it. So with me I have Arshana. You look so gorgeous right now. Can you tell me what was it like working with Indy? Uh, it was, she's amazing to work with. So simple and yet so intellectual in putting together such an amazing collection for today. You know, I'm really blessed to be working for her and you know, this garment speaks volumes. You know, what you saw on the runway is what it is, so. What do you feel wearing, you know, a piece of Indy? Uh, I, I feel like a queen. Yeah. You look gorgeous and how was, the, how was the runaway, how was the feedback from the crowd? Feedback was great, like you know, I, I've, I've been coming to Sri Lanka for almost a decade now and I have made a lot of friends, so to see them there and support me while I was walking was really, really, uh, really, really, you know, I had an epiphany, so it was great. Do you want to tell the people where you're, I mean, usually based in and what made you come to Sri Lanka? So I have been working with Indy, um, Actually, since 2019 was when I was supposed to come for the show. But, you know, things happen and COVID hit and very unfortunate whatever happened. So finally, you know, she called me like a month ago and she's like, are you free this day? And, you know, it's my show and I really want you here. And that's how I am here. So with me, I have Timo and Danny. Timo, tell me about the experience. How did it feel like? Well, actually, I have seen Indy from she started. You know, it's very. I'm very, very proud of her because uh, she is so strong enough to do a standalone show, which most of the designers in Sri Lanka try to not to do. You know, uh, I'm so happy for her, and the show was amazing. All these girls look so pretty in her outfit. I'm so happy. <laughs> Well, Danny, you look gorgeous wearing, you know, Indy's new launch. So, tell me about the experience, you know, how was it working with Indy and what do you feel wearing it? So, I actually, I am the person who first did Indy's very first photo shoot, which was 10 years ago. So, I've been with her from since the inception and doing this was like, just amazing. Like See, no grow like and so glad. I'm so glad that Indy didn't forget the past and she used all the models what she had worked with before and like yeah. it's something like not most of the designers would do you know when the models are old they don't do that but she knew that they have so much of potential used every one of them gave them like equal uh, position in ramp and dressers and everything so good. Anything else you want to say the you know people who are watching about Indy about her collection? Her collections are fabulous you should check them out if you have not yet and it was a great show. Please watch it online. Well, there you have it. Aria by India Pa Bevardhane. It was such a glamorous fashion show and she produced some wonderful pieces that you do not want to miss out. That's it for High Events and I'm your host, Safman Nagera. Catch you next time. <laughs>